everybody. Welcome back. Um, today I'm going to share uh, my design team project, my first design team project for Dreams Etc. Um, just recently um, Jennifer did a call out and I submitted um, a couple of projects for that and was delighted when she informed me that I had um, been chosen as one of the team members. So this is my first um, project for her and this one I've chosen to use Romantic Notions. If you guys have been following me uh, you'll see some of the elements within this um, that I used within my 100 day project. So what this is is just an altered uh, file folder and I'll show you the a close-up. I've got various vintage laces and trims um, lots of the elements from the kit. It's a big kit, uh, guys. Um, and then this I have backed with uh, dimensional tape so that it's standing out a little bit. I've done some fussy cutting. The file folder itself was um, decoupage and then I came back and stitched. There's vintage book pages under that um, and then uh, pages from the kit itself and then this is the back um, and then I came back over it with gesso just to tone it down slightly and stitched around there again okay so let's just go inside and here I've this is one of the um, journal cards from the kit I have created a pocket with that one let me show you some of the collaging. Sorry guys, I, I'm trying to keep an eye out for uh, the milkman here. Um, and then in this pocket, this is one of the little uh, cards that you get. I've just added that to a tag that I had. And then this was one of my projects and I've just created this little collage tag with various things from um, the Romantic Notions kit. I did some stamping on muslin, did some stitching around that, and so that's just been tucked in that little pocket. And then starting at the back, this is one of the envelopes that you get in the kit. A journal card. Isn't that beautiful? love that. And the colors are just so pretty in this kit. So that's in the back. This is another journal card. I've done some stitching around that. This was one of the little, <coughs> excuse me, notebooks that I made. So you've got a little pocket with a tag there. And then just a bit of collaging, some vintage lace, and the papers have all been tea dyed. So it's just a little notebook so you can make a few more notes. Over here I've just got an altered alteration tag. <laughs> just to add in a little pin to that and then this is one of the elements. I thought you could do some journaling on the back of that. I wanted to do something different. Um, as, you're, as you guys know I needed a break from a journal and I thought this she's got some awesome elements and it really does lend itself to uh, folios and um, I had started one of these about six months ago and had left it um, so when you know when I moved so I thought, oh, this is the perfect time to just go ahead and do something else. Um, here, it's a, a window envelope that I've altered, so that's going to flip up. I've done a tuck, tuck spot with one of the circles that comes, some more stitching, and another little tack. And this has all been um, gessoed. And then within this pocket, 
This is another um, element. This it's one of the journal cards, and then I took one of the the um, images and fussy cut her and it attached it. So that is in this pocket so that that will show through. And this has all been stamped, gessoed, uh, well actually gessoed then stamped and it's all been tea dyed and then this is another bit from the, the kit. Um, this is an envelope that I've altered into a pocket here and then I've included this so that you could do some journaling on the back there. Isn't that image stunning? The colors are so, so pretty. And then on the back here, I've done um, some more stamping, laces. Um, here I've got more vintage lace, some fussy cutting going on, another little tuck spot. <coughs> Excuse me, another... Um, journal card from the kit, and then this is one of the tiny envelopes that you get in the kit. I've left that one so that you could do journaling on that one. Here I've created another tuck spot with two more. This is tag from the kit, and this is one of the journal cards from the kit, and I've created a tuck spot with another element that um, she includes. And then over here, this is a little Tim Holtz um, clip, and then I've just made a little, I don't know, just some various things, some old vintage uh, receipts, and some scrap um, tea dyed papers so that it's kind of like a little notebook. And then here you've got another pocket so you can add some more items to later. Um, so I just clip that on the back of that envelope. So that flips over. And then on the back here, I've done a bit more vintage trim. And then this was some trim I picked up this weekend. And then in this pocket, I've just done a little tag. Another little stamped journal card I've created. Created a pocket here with one of the elements from the kit. And then this is just a little mini journal. And if you've been following me, you know that we created this on um, a couple of the days for the 100, um, 100 day project. This has all been collaged gessoed, um, stitched, I've got baking paper between two envelopes and then some of the um, hand crinkled uh, seam binding. And then inside here a bit more collaging. A couple more tags. For you to journal on and then um, this has just got buried you know I didn't do any pockets inside it's been kept very very plain for you to um, that's some Edith Holden paper piano paper vintage piano paper um, uh, just various things like I said I just did a bit of stamping but overall I've just kept it pretty simple because um you know it, it was just it's one big project rather than just a journal. I love how that has come out, that tag. And then on the back here I did a bit more trim and a little rosette. So there you go guys. I really loved this project because, um, well number one, the colors are stunning. and. Um, there's so much within this kit that um, lends itself to this sort of project. So, and that's just tucked in there. And there you go, guys. It's just a really fun little something different. Um, so give it a try, guys. If you've been thinking about creating one, I highly recommend it because it was a really fun 
Now, you know, and it's the sort of project you could just walk away from, come back, and work on, which is what I've been doing um, to add elements to it. So, if you're interested in this, this is going into my shop. Um, the link below will be to the Romantic Notions Kit by Dreams Etc. And I will be back um, in a couple of weeks with another um, design team project for her. And in the meantime, I will see you guys um, later. Have a great day.